In this video, I'm going to be tying a bird's nest nymph. The hook I have in the vise is a size 14 Hemingway's hook. It's an HC114. It's a two, two to extra long, one extra strong hook. The bead I have installed is a tungsten bead, 2.5 millimeter in gold from Frosty Fly. The thread we're going to be using is a olive thread, UTC 70. <clears throat> so to help secure that bead in, we're going to wrap a little bit of lead wire on, just a few turns. We'll push that up into that bead. Then we'll take and we'll start our thread right behind those lead wraps. Sort of build a little bit of a thread dam and a taper coming from those lead wraps. And then we'll tie up into those wraps Oops, secure them in. And then we'll start wrapping to the back. Come in and trim our thread off. For the tail of this fly, we're going to be using mallard flank fibers. We'll line the tips and then pull them off the stem and we're going to want those to be roughly the length of the hook shank. So we'll secure those in. And then we'll come in and Trim out that extra. Next thing we're going to tie in is some copper wire. This would be a brassy size copper wire for this size 15. So we'll tie that in right behind the, starting it right behind that lead. And for the body of this fly, <coughs> we're going to be using a Hemingway's UV Hair Dubbing Plus. This is a natural color. This is a blend of hair's ear with guard hairs and some sparkling antron and just a little bit of UV ice dubbing. So we'll put a tapered noodle.
And then we'll take that copper wire wrap it up through create a nice segmented body We'll helicopter that out. Next for our wings, we're going to take more of the mallard flank, dyed mallard flank, it's dyed to look like a um, wood duck. And I already got one with the center cut out of it so we're gonna put that in sort of tie it in loosely at first and then we can pull it out we want the length of these wings to be to where they would just be touching the point of the hook go a little more That looks pretty good. And we'll come in and trim that excess out. <clears throat> and then I like to push those mallard flank fibers down so they sort of point down. Clean that up a little. Trim some of these ones off the top. Now we're going to take more of the same color dubbing. And We'll uh, create our thorax. You're going to want a nice bulky thorax, so we'll make a rather thick dubbing noodle. Now we'll take our whip finisher put a five or six turn whip finish in it trim our thread And then this is the fun part. Take a little piece of Velcro and you start roughing that up a little bit, picking it out.
and whatever's too long you can just trim but that's where this fly gets its name from the bird's nest super effective fly great search and pattern but I uh, thank you for watching this video if you could please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel please feel free to leave any comments or suggestions and I thank you <laughs>